guys, so today we're going to make the DIY um, scented notebook. So it's basically going to be like a notebook, a plain notebook that has a plain cover with nothing on it. And then we're just going to draw anything and then make that picture scented. So yeah, so I'm going to be using, wait, okay, so let's just see what we'll need here. Okay, so here are the things that you'll be needing. A notebook. So this is a notebook that has already been, I mean, actually it has a scrapbook that is already decorated. But I'm just going to use the back because it's the plain side. So I'm going to be using this background. <laughs> and next thing is paper, scissors, white glue, which is, I have the extra strong one so that it dries faster but the thing is I really wanted a non-toxic -to one because I wanted to do this DIY called like you know the peel off lipstick yeah and it needs to be a non-toxic kind but I bought it a toxic kind so like no anyways it dries fast and colors or pens but pens if you use pens like you know how pens when there's like a picture of a pen and then it gets liquid on it like for example glue it gets smudge and all so you have to be careful but maybe I recommend you guys to print out a picture rather than drawing and the last thing will be a paintbrush no not the last thing this is paintbrush and shampoo sanitizer or whatever that has a scent to like yeah I'm using a sanitizer strap with the strawberry scent because I'm going to be drawing like actually I'm going to be drawing a pineapple but I don't have a pineapple like scent so I'm just gonna use strawberry anyways it smells nice and yeah let's get started okay. First you draw a circle and then add some lines and then add the leaves and add in some green shades and just put some okay, dots. So now I finished drawing the pineapple. Just cut it out. It doesn't matter if, like, you didn't cut it completely out, cause like, it doesn't matter if you have like these little white excess here. Okay, so now once you're finished, just put them aside. I'm gonna put these pins back to where it belongs. Okay, so now you take your pineapple and just put it in where you want to put it on. I'm going to put it here, so, okay, take your glue, and, oops, and just pour a blot of it, okay, that's enough, not too much, and basically just paint it at the back of the pineapple or at the same time you can use a glue stick for this because you're just sticking it or maybe tape or whatever duct tape maybe no duct tape is kind of like it pops out which will not make the pineapple flat so no just Paint it all over the pineapple until it's wet, completely wet. 
So, okay, now you just stick it on to the cover. Okay, so here's my pinnable. Yay! So, now you don't have to wait for it to dry, but if you want to, just do. But it's a bit wet here because, like, you know, there was a big blot. So, just careful not to um, tear it up or something. Some glue came out. <laughs> okay, anyways. But I'm just not going to wait it to dry because, like, I want to do this really quickly. So, now the next step is take your sanitizer or whatever that scents, maybe lotion or whatever. Yep. And take some good glue. Wait. So now we just need um, a small container or maybe you could just do it like on your table but I don't want to do that because that's going to be really messy. So I'm just going to take like a small container right here. So I'm going to open Tuesday. I'm going to use this. So what you want to do is squeeze some glue. Okay, that's enough. And wait, let me just close this. Okay, now just pour in three drops, or I don't know, just as long as it's not too much. One, two, three. I think that's enough. I think the color's gonna be really light pink. So just mix it up. Yep, it's light pink. Well, Kind of. It's a bit whitey and all. Just make sure it's completely mixed. And then, just start painting it all over your picture. I feel bad. I feel like, no, my masterpiece. Because I'm afraid that it's a bit smudged. That's all. So just don't really smudge it too much. Just carefully. I like the texture and the constancy of the, um, what is it? The mixture of glue and sanitizer because it looks nice and it looks f fluffy and that reminds me of puffy paint which you guys will see me doing it in my next DIY video which is going to be a squishy DIY and also at the same time in that video I'm going to be um, showing you guys how to make your own puffy paint if you don't have one because where I live here it's just really hard to find puffy paint like you have no idea how where to find it but sometimes you can just buy it off online or I don't know maybe if you go somewhere in another country oh my god that I think it's smudged all over because I can't really see the designs. Anyways, I could just do it later. So now I just leave it to dry and yeah, wait until it's dry. Okay, so the pic the pineapple already dried. It's kind of really bumpy as you can see. Focus phone. Okay, see as you can see it looks kind of disgusting <laughs> because it's really up so close. It's really bumpy and all, but... I think I should recreate, like, redraw on it after I finish. So now what you need to do is just, it's really easy. I'm going to use another container that's not been used yet, which is Wednesday. And let's just put this book away right here. Okay, so just pour in some glue. Okay, you can refill it if it's not enough, because what, now what we're going to do is just we're going to cover the whole, like, cover, so that the picture will stay and it's, like, the smell and all will not, f like, so that it doesn't fall off, yeah. And it will give the cover, like, a shining te um, texture, I guess, yeah. So, wait, let me just test the smell. 
It smells so good. Okay, so now I just take the glue and I'm gonna start from this corner. <gasps> it's a bit yellow. Can you see that? Because of the brush. I think I should wash this, but anyways, it doesn't matter to because you could scratch like it would go. So yeah, I'm going to keep on covering the whole cover but make sure it's not too thin and not too thick filled with glue okay okay so i'm just gonna keep on doing just now i stopped the video because i wanted to time lapse this but i couldn't because there wasn't enough storage so anyways i'm just gonna do this quickly because i don't want to take time i mean waste time I'm just gonna put in some more glue on this book because I'm too lazy. Put it into the container. container. So, yep. Yeah. hold the book because it's keeps on moving. Just a bit more here. Okay, so now just leave it to dry and I'll show you the results. So Okay, so um it's already dried as you can see. Oh there's a bit here, not dried yet, but the rest dried already and it's just so smooth, but it's a bit like, you know, not too smooth because it's like anyways, but it's shiny. And also here I added like one blob of sanitizer so that the smell could be much stronger under the layer of glue. So, yeah. And now I'm just going to, like like I said, I'm going to redesign the lines like this with the um, yellow pen. But you won't really see it anyways. Because now it's kind of hard. But you could, you guys could also use like a dark orange so that it looks like the, uh, shades of yellow. But anyways, I guess you guys could see it, right? I could see it in the camera right now. So now I'm just gonna do the dots things around everywhere. Just dot 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 everywhere. And, oh. Okay, so that's done. Now our pineapple, scented pineapple is ready. So like, oh my gosh, I just love it. Like, oh yay. Oh, sunlight here. Let me just take this phone off the stand. Why does everything feel so dark? Okay. So here's the, like how the thing looks like. So now it's like this. So, okay. Bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. 
So, hope you like it, and I hope you enjoy baking this because I like the smell so much, especially with strawberry or any other kind like flowers, blossoms, and stuff. So, okay, bye guys.